mods and creations are one they completely redid like the the modding menu and everything it's just called creations now which i'd rather of them have just called it mods because that's what it is but we're gonna look here oh the game's also going to be running at a performance mode and you also have a quality mode which is something that's different than skyrim but looking at the main mods here, uh, we'll get a sneak peek at what I have. This is just the classic thing that's been here since the game essentially launched with uh, with mods. And, you know, they've got your favorites rated. What I recommend doing is going in and downloading any mods that you have they of course have a mod cap with it being on the xbox platform i would like to see them actually raise that on uh on the series update that's coming i think that would be something that would be a good idea to do um <clears throat> excuse me but um go in download everything all of these mods that you have downloaded uh, they're all going to break when this game updates. That is something that, for whatever reason, seems to happen. It is a huge uh, mod that is coming out called Fallout London that was using Fallout 4. And uh, they've announced that it's basically been delayed indefinitely until they can get their hands on the mod and uh, see exactly how it's going to work. The mod isn't going to work on consoles, but... Hey there, Death Trooper. Welcome into the stream here. I think you can say goodbye due to the next-gen consoles. Um, potentially. I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure if I understand what you mean, but yeah, pretty much a lot of these mods are aren't gonna come over. It's a shame because a lot of these mods are really cool. Um, taking a look at my favorites, there are. Of course, Batman costumes. There's Sonic the Hedgehog, which is a playable character, which maybe we'll look at that one later on. Um, Halo mods, Gears of War mods, mods with uh, the Halo armor, Halo weapons, the Mark V uh, B variant, assault rifle stuff, Spartans uh, with ODST armor, Doom armor. There's just a huge amount of these that are just not going to be available after. I don't think that, uh, you know, I don't think that a lot of these mods are going to come back simply due to the fact that if you look in some of the descriptions, a lot of them just say that they ported the mod from Nexus mods to Xbox and that they're not the actual mod creator. And that, and that, uh, you know, they're they're not going to come back and re-up these or port them over to the new thing. This, <clears throat> the unofficial Fallout Four patch, is something that I hope Bethesda takes um, inspiration from when they launch this and incorporate this mod as just a standard thing, just because. It has helped fix so much in the game. Um, right now, we're going to be loading up and just playing through the intro, and then we'll go and, and mess with uh, some of the other mods and game saves that I have. But this is essentially just a look today at Fallout 4 as it exists right now. I wanted to get this documented. I tried to make Lucy from the show... In the game, there's a mod for that, but it looks absolutely horrible, like really bad. It sucks for mods like the Boston FPS, which made the game actually playable in Boston. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Oh yeah, here we here here we have the BR uh, <laughs> 55 as part of the mod. It it puts the models in the uh, in the loading screens. will also be uh streaming see i tried to make it look like lucy i think i did 
a decent job. But yeah, this already on the Xbox Series X runs at 60 FPS. It's part of the uh, FPS boost program, which I honestly feel like they should work more to get um, more games in that FPS boost like thing in the program. My plan is to just have Fallout 4 saved on my HDD to save my mods and play the game offline. Alright, let's let's talk to him. Good morning. Good morning. Isn't it? You can't begin. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad I opened the door. Oh, I'm here to get all right sounds great oh it is believe you me now you're already I... sure let's do it splendid okay you will be Lucy <laughs> intelligence at a five endurance five and we just want to split these up each way and if we have any extra put them into endurance wonderful that's everything they did patch Fallout 76 to have 4K 60 later on. I wish they did that for Fallout 4. Oh, I was unaware of that. Well, I mean, that's kind of what the uh, the new patch is, is to make it at 4K 60. Well, maybe not 4K 60, but 1080. It's probably going to be like 1080p or 1440. Miss Lucy. That's funny. All right, well, let me over here. Come on. Let me through. Go ahead, honey. I'll be there in a second and a half, okay? Jeez. My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? <clears throat> Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Sounds fun. Yeah, sounds like fun. First, Mom, you can come and see this. Codsworth? Qualified. Yes, qualified. I love how they actually recorded so many different types of names for the intro. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Even after you get back out of the vault and find him. He'll still, uh, he'll still be like, oh, hey, you know, and uh, use your name and conversations and everything when you have him as a companion. If you're registered. If not, oh well. Those eyes are scary in game. It reminds you of Shenmue. <laughs> A game audio is too low? Alright. Alright, let's see here. 
have it turned up a little bit. It's a little bit quiet here, but we need to get in. We're on the list. Making a list, checking it twice. Adult female. Okay, Come on. Thank you. You two, follow me. Come on. What's gonna happen to all those people outside the gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Not my problem. Step on the platform in the center. He's fine. We're gonna be okay. Yeah, having watched the TV oh show, it's so good. The Fallout show is so good. It had some problems, to be sure, for the show, but it's just, it's so, so good. Like, I'm not gonna... I, I, I don't want to have any spoilers or anything, but... We'll give it a little bit more time before we talk spoilers, but... We did it. I was just blown we away. It. We're okay. Everyone, please, step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. Let me out. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. <laughs> yeah. Yes, the yeah, for for just yeah. This room's good. Step over to the table, take a suit. Just right. step over to the table. Thanks. Welcome. What Pick now? Just right follow there. the doctor this here. Way, He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. I'll get ahead of him. I haven't see? seen the show. Now I'm actually going to see the show after seeing. Oh, it's real good. It is a hundred percent faithful to the show or to the game. Like I've never played the original Fallout One and Two. I'll just come right out and say that. I'm not a fan of like that isometric kind of view. I know I like the Diablo games, but those are those are different. It's not an RPG like that in, in that kind of way. But. I played a lot of Fallout 3, I played a lot of Fallout uh, Fallout 4, I played a lot of New Vegas, and it is, just I know there's some issues with the lore, but it is so good when it comes to just how like okay. accurate and everything it is to the show, uh, if the show is to the games. I thought it was going to be like Halo. Oh, there was a little bit of worry from me that it might be in a similar way. But the show writer, he didn't play Fallout 4, but uh, I guess he spent a lot of time playing Fallout 3. The uh, actress that plays Lucy is in an interview, and she was talking about how she, would, she didn't have to, but she played Fallout 4 so that she could get a sense of the game and how the Vault Dwellers are in the character. Which, again, is like the complete opposite of stuff that you would see from the Halo show. They bragged and bragged and bragged on the Halo show about, oh, we didn't play the games. This has nothing to do with the games. We didn't watch, uh, you know. It, it, it's just, it, and, and it shows, too, because they didn't write a good story for Halo. They didn't keep to the tone of the games. Fallout 1 and 2 and Tactics are all on Game Pass PC. Oh, okay. I think my Game Pass is expired. I'll have to... I'll have to renew it. Check that out. I should play fine on my PC. Almost. Boom.
Come on. <coughs> Press X to shut. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, let's hop out of here. Kind of looks like the girl from the show. I did what I could. I gave her kind of big brown eyes and the brown ponytail and the same type of nose. Must be a release. Come on, come on, come on. Oh God. I'll find who did this. You take his wedding ring so you can sell it later. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. Need those. Oh. Welcome to Robco Industries. Premature termination resulting in system failure. Isolated manual and removal overrides detected. Controls disabled. Life support offline. Premature termination resulting in system failure. Okay, so it's the same thing. Oh yeah, these are all your neighbors in that neighborhood. Deceased cause of death asphyxiation due to life support failure. Deceased cause of death asphyxiation asphyxiation asphyxiation. There we go. So they basically just suffocated to death. All right, they all so they all died except for me because their life support shut off and then they suffocated. That's these people here. Oh God! Why would Vault Tech do this? None of those open. All right. <coughs> That sounds like a sounds like a COVID cough. Function in emergency exit door override. Please contact your Vault Tech. Rad Rouge. Free war money. Security terminal. Under no circumstances are staff allowed to deviate from the assigned duties, insubordination, or interference with vault operations. Our capital offenses, security staff, are authorized to use lethal force. This just goes over... Go ahead. Critical Biogenic array. Residents must vacate. All right. <laughs> Just power, power crush that thing. Giant roaches. What the hell? Overseer memo. Reminder, use of the recreational terminals is a privilege. If work performance declines, this privilege may be revoked. Enjoy responsibly. Top 10. Wonder what that means. Oh, it's a game. What? 
I, I do remember hearing, uh... I do remember hearing that the uh, prop for the uh, Pip-Boy that they use in the show... Oh, no. Actually had stuff like this on it that they could mess around with and use. Well, let's see if I can get to the top. I, I've played this game for, I think, the thing says a total of, like, four days. And I don't... I don't think I ever knew this was here. I'm going to be honest. Ah! <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, we're going to quit the game. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't believe I never knew that was there. I feel stupid now. All right, well... Let's go ahead and get out here. Boom! Did I get the tape? No. No, I didn't. I was unaware that I could take it. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've played, and I mean, let's just be honest here, I'm not, not that great. This one? No, it wasn't this one. Donkey Kong came out in 1981. You should be a pro with the red man. Oh, geez. You know, I know I'm old, um, but 1981 actually was before I was born. That was... Oh, there it is. That was before my time. But I did play it. In an arcade. There we go. There we go. We got the Red Menace. What happened here? Where is everyone? Oh yeah, the way the stim packs work. Is this all that's left? Uh, the the way they're represented in the show is is perfect, absolutely perfect. I think I think you'd enjoy that, <laughs> Bobby Pin. Nice. Come I just back later said I you. picked up a Bobby Pin. Don't need that. There we go. Bobby pin. I think my local arcade has a Donkey Kong in it. Not the first one. Okay. No way I can pick this. <laughs> okay. Terminal somewhere. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Open evacuation tunnel. Cryolator. I've long dreamt of making cryogenic freezing available in a portable on-demand form. The cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of the chemicals and the components I need to tinker with the prototype. It's nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the all-clear sign. 
You need junk to craft stuff. Yeah, yeah, you do. Dog meat is a master lockpick. Faction led by the security personnel have turned on me, demanding they be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots. I will not open the door to be irradiated to death out there. I'm consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. I've been too damn generous with the rations. If people don't like it, well, that's fewer mouths to feed. <laughs> Ouch. All right. Let's get out of here, then. I think given the chance here, I'm going to edit edit the, how the character looks just a little bit, just the hair. Yeah, I remember when this came out, they offered in the collector's edition the uh, Pip-Boy that you could put your phone in, and there was the Pip-Boy app that you could use. Oh, I wanted it so bad, but I, I at the time, I think it was like 150 or 200 dollar 200 dollars i just i couldn't afford it Oh yeah, this is when you walk in. You walked in this way. Malfunction in cryopod manual release. I don't know why that started me. <laughs> there was a real pit boy as well. Oh, that would have been awesome. Let's go. Vault door cycling sequence initiated. Please stand back. Oh, this on field technician. Look at what this guy's got. A girl. Yeah, I'm honestly, I am. Oh, what's that? I almost shelled out 300 for the Starfield and the watch. Didn't get it because it didn't come with a disc. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's check this out real quick, though. Had all this stuff. Oh yeah, I got the cheat terminal in here. All my. All these mods are on. I don't know if I'm going to use them, though. We'll just play it straight for right now. And then we'll look at some of the other mods with uh, 
a different save I have. I'll, I will probably play this. Oh, the Halo mod, okay. Change appearance. All right, Lucy. She did at one point have long hair like that, or the, her hair down. I think it should be all right. eyebrows aren't the right color either. No. I'm not trying to do the skin. All right, well, whatever. This is why I kind of made the character beforehand. I didn't want to have to Character creator. And thank you for choosing Vault Tech. Vault Tech. Yeah, after being in a in a vault for a couple hundred years asleep with your eyes shut, this would probably make you go blind. <laughs> I'm just saying, you would have uh, your eyes wouldn't have actually absorbed any ultraviolet li or light or any type of UV light for such a long time that that, that probably would have made you go blind. I've got Morgan's spacesuit. Short handmade shotgun. I think that's. I'm not sure what mod this is from. Whoop. Nope. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, this is the Doom shotgun, I think. I think if you put your luck stat all the way up, when you come out here, there's a suit of power armor that you can have. It's just sitting here. <laughs> uh... Yeah, yeah, you're you're right about that. Yeah, looking at the bomb um, certainly would have also fried your eyes. I think. Auto cap. And I don't know necessarily if these would be here either. Pretty sure they would have been incinerated.
don't know if you guys could hear that. It was playing music. I, I don't want to set the world on fire. As I live and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. What happened? Codsworth. What happened to the world? The world, Mum? Well, besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Sir back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> where, where would he have been? They... They killed him. Oh, Mum, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been hey there, uh, this is the Xbox activity. One Checkers version. I'm playing it on the Gerard. console, the Series but X. So I've got a couple of mods on, um... Nothing though, but it runs at a little bit higher resolution and it runs at a higher frame rate. It's a uh, part of the FPS boost. It doesn't make sense. Um, There's just no reason someone. It's worse but yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think it would look You're too much different. From... 200 years? 200 years? What? Are you. A bit over 210, actually, Mum. Take a yeah, yeah, or... yeah. Codsworth, you're acting a little weird. What's wrong? I... Yeah, I... yeah, essentially. Uh -huh. I don't think I have any. Uh... Stay... We're gonna skip. Thank you, Codsworth. Skip this. Sorry, I've, I've you're welcome. Now, seen this a hundred times. Yes. All right. Proud. So, let's see. I know I've got mods on. Let's see if it'll... Okay. So we've got the Fallout 4, uh, personal sleeping bag, HUD framework, pip boy flashlight, some Halo mods, the map marker mods, the HUD preset, uh, Spartan jumpsuits, more the thing, hair, some clothes... Sonic mod. So yeah, nothing nothing to really change too much. Terrific. It's a fight day. Jeez. Everyone's still alive. Another house. Follow me. Yeah, bubble gum. Yeah, sure, it's no problem. I actually feel bad for this Sean's robot. There, Codsworth. I need to find him. What about Concord, Mum? Plenty of people there. And last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. You're useless. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks Cod. Help, Codsworth. Good luck, Mum. Shall... The facial animations on this are uh they're a bit odd. They're a bit odd. Let's check out a couple of things here. Cheat terminal portable. 
can't remember what this does. Let's see. It's one of the mods. Okay. Sega needs to take notes. Let's say items and equipment. Armor. Alt-Tech security. Power unique. Metal. Leather. Oh dear, that's that's a little too much. Eh, no, that's fine. We'll also turn up the difficulty too, since I'm picking up some of these uh, items and weapons and stuff that I'm about to get. What is this unique? Oh, wow. Okay. Let's go back. Alt Tech Security. Vault 111 Security Armor. Vault 81 Government. I think it's just, I don't know, we'll have to see here. Alt tech security armor. Oh, it's just the armor with like a flap jacket on it, okay. Armor. Let's go back. Let's see. Metal. Sturdy metal. Heavy metal. <laughs> heavy metal. <laughs> Combat armor. Alright, let's grab some. Uh, let's grab a weapon here, I guess, shall we? Uh, where is it? There it is, the top. Got some guns. Oh. I like the hunting rifle. Three oh eight round armor or ammo, not armor. All right, let's uh, get the settings real quick. Gameplay, not survival. We'll put it on. We'll put it on hard. Let's we'll see how well that that goes. Yeah, cause I'm not gonna up like my stats or anything. Just uh, just give me a nice little start here.
dog meat. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? <laughs> you seem like an okay guy. Okay, then. Let's stick together. Hey. Head over there. For him. Fallout isn't a difficult game as long as the scaling doesn't screw you over. Hmm. It 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 can be. There are some sections I remember just getting absolutely stomped by super mutants. It really depends on what dog what what? Oh. Nice. Alright, well, let's go. Hey. I thought I remember being attacked here, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, nope, there they are. Jeez. All right, all right. Yeah, this game, this game helped me, uh, this game helped me break my destiny addiction. I'll never forget it. But I think part of the reason why I've, uh... Ooh. I think it's part of the reason why I like this game so much. I played Destiny that year it came out in 2014 for a couple of months and was just like, meh, like, I'm not... I'm not really feeling, you know, feeling this game. I don't, I don't know what, like, why Bungie would, you know, do whatever. And then eventually, I actually kept playing it, and I got more into it. And uh... and uh, I ended up, I ended up really getting into it, and and almost like an, an unhealthy way. And, uh, they had done something in the game that had pissed me off. They had changed, like, an, it was like another sandbox update where I had grinded, for, I think, for a pistol. And, uh, they had nerfed the hand cannons. And it had made me so mad. And I ended up stop playing. I ended up stop playing the game. And then a week later, this came out, and it was it was the perfect single player, like you know, being being able to be played offline RPG that I needed. I had fun playing Destiny, don't get me wrong. The Raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please. I had fun playing it, but the game The game honestly it taught me a very valuable lesson. And that was 
about the online service games. And it was just essentially to not really get too involved with them. And the reason for that was is that I had a realization and it was after I stopped playing, but it was essentially that at any moment, all the progress in your game or the game itself could just evaporate overnight. If they just said, no, we're not going to, we're not going to, you know, support the game anymore, at which they will at one point, the Destiny servers will go offline and the thousands of hours that people have put into the game are just, or they're just going to disappear. Um... The game is very fun to play if you have friends. If you don't, then it is a very difficult game to play. I would like Destiny if it was more of a, uh, if it was more like how Borderlands is. If it was more like Borderlands is, then I probably would have liked it more. Jeez, let me, let me get this already. Essentially, nice. there it is. There's a word somewhere that is the password. If you type it in, then it'll, uh, you know, it'll open up. Take the fusion core. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, let's just get the hell out of here. We got no reason to hang around and get shot. I mean, it's a fucking pansy. We hold out for the others like we're supposed to. What are you, dead? Huh? Someone... No! Don't you die on me! I think he's dead. Pow! Uh... Oh, it hit the... Did it? It hit that thing. <laughs> That's all right. Dog meat got him. You're a good boy, dog meat. Yikes. But yeah, if, if Destiny was more like Borderlands and you could play the game offline, um, I'd probably like it more. The gunplay in that game is, is fun. Like... Like, it's a great, a great, like, we weapons handle amazingly. It's just the endless sandbox tuning and the, uh, the monetization and all the, all that stuff just is just be has become a huge turnoff. I might jump back into it and check it out when it comes to the, uh, the final shape just because that is the last you know thing for Man, the the, you the are, light saga Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minutemen oh, damn it <laughs> Minutemen Minutemen so now I'm traveling backward in time uh, protect the people at a minute's notice uh, that, ain't it. that was the idea so I joined up wanted to make a difference and I did but things fell apart 
Now it looks like I'm the last minute man left standing. Maybe. Ugh. The world's changed so much. None of this makes sense. You all right? Who's around that can find a missing person? Used to have a few good trackers in this group. Uh -huh. Hey. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. Doesn't sound like he's a very good leader, if that's the case. Sounds rough, buddy. Sorry. Sounds really rough. God damn it. Thanks. <laughs> Dude's in the background just cussing. I mean, I don't really care. I'm just being nice. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis? There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. Sounds useful. That's some serious protection. Oh, it gets better. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertebrate. Do that. No traders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Good idea. Any gun. I know, right? Mm -hmm. It can be powered up again. Sure. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is but we can't. I know, I already yeah. have the, the Actually, core. I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun. Those raiders and know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. God Please, damn it. you need to listen to me. <laughs> That's it. Just gonna walk away. Yeah. yeah, dude. There it is. That old power armor here. Up here, boss. We got somebody up here. Got <laughs> Toast. Why don't you get down here? I knew. Show me that fancy gun up close. <laughs> Oh, here comes the death claw, I think. I got places to be. You wait, asshole. The part when you get the power armor and never use it because of the fusion core. Oh, with the mods, you could just have unlimited fusion cores. Here comes the death claw. Woo! Can't get out. Huh. There we go. Oh, dog meat. Got him. 
Who else? Oh my goodness. Oh! There it is! Question is, is why doesn't he come back out here? Why why do I have to walk inside with the power armor? Take it easy, mama. You okay? Fine, fine, Justin. Quit fussing. Excuse me. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. The feeling's mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. What happens now? For the longest time, Mama Murph, why don't you come with us? Yeah, me oh, either. Harvey. Oh. Okay. You are a woman out of... I'm listening. Look, kid, I know... And even I don't She's just high as high out of her mind. You should start looking for grave. That's vague. That's vague. Look. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Oh, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need this. She's just like, yeah, we're all gonna die. Let me overdose and get off my back about it, dude. <laughs> Yeah, that whole section right there with the death claw was a little, little difficult, I'll be honest. Do not try to use that excuse with a cop. I forget. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, I forget how to get out of this thing. I, I'm not all allied to the settlement, really. All right. Let's find a chair. Wait an hour for them to get here. They should be here. <clears throat> hey, it's good to see you again. He's staining in the I bushes. Show up. I should have listened to Mama. Sure. I think we could. Mm -hmm. Weirdo. Yeah. What do you mean? Before what? Mm. I lived here. Over 200 years ago. I, I was... Damn. You say you were frozen. Maybe. Damn. Anyway. Anyway, another you settlement needs your help. <laughs> and I hope you don't mind. I've had word from a settlement. I, the only chance to start rebuilding the Minuteman. Trouble is... No. I can't help. Right now. That's your call. Uh-huh. Sanctuary. I knew you'd join oh. me, a kid. <clears throat> hey, you ready to help out? Yeah, I guess so, dude. Mm -hmm. I've had word from a subtle... Mm -hmm. The only mm -hmm. chance to start rebuilding the Minuteman. Sure. Trouble is... I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. 
-hmm. By the way, if you want to help out around here, another settlement needs your help. Perception is your environmental awareness, six sets of effects, weapon accuracy, and vats. All right, then. Ma'am. You're tied to this place, kid. Your energy. Uh, I don't have the supplies for this. All right, now that we're here at Sanctuary, we might come back to this here in a second. We're going to save, and then we're actually... Let me see, I have all these other mods in, uh, installed. I want to make sure they're turned on. Yeah, okay. So we're going to load a different save... This is my original save. Yes, continue loading. This is my original save that I had all the way back in 2015. I tried playing, uh, I think it was Nuka World, and I just couldn't get into it. I don't know what it was. I think it was just the way the level was designed, or the uh, not the camp, but the park. It just wasn't... I don't know, it just wasn't it. But this was... This is my original character, Joan, uh, named after my my late grandmother we got mods on now though so what we're gonna do there is a cheat terminal portable we're gonna pop this in oh no the OG save is gone that would that that would that would that would be that would drive me nuts Inventory, uh, infinite carry weight. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, if anything happens, and the stream abruptly ends, or you see me get up and run off. Um, it is, I guess, thunderstorming really, really, really bad outside. I had no idea. Just pull this up real quick. Sorry about that. Yeah, I, uh, I just heard super loud thunder. I'm about to get I'm about to get waylaid. Great. Well, if the power goes out or the stream ends abruptly, it is because my power has gone out. But we're gonna Um We're gonna keep on going. Play enable God mode one hit kill. Free electricity. I don't know. I don't think that works that way. <laughs> I should have I should have a bunch of stuff, I think. Maybe.
Let's see this crafting table. No, I gotta find... Cheat terminal. <laughs> oh my goodness. Maybe I should start streaming my front doorbell cam. The storm going on. Uh, Alright, let's check out the items and equipment. Crafting. Here we go. Is there a way to just take everything? Add every component. Nice. 500 of everything added. <laughs> All right. Now let's see. Let's look at the gear stuff. We got the Boltok revolver. Gears armor chest. Gears Helmet, Gears Helmet Alt, Gears Ring, what does that do, I wonder? Gears Undersuit, Nasher Shotgun, Lancer, that's cool, Long Shot, alright, MA-37, oh nice. Magnum. Hunting rifle long scope? That's weird. Mjolnir armor. Sierra 117. Nice. Utility. Oh, this is just different clothes. Vault 33. Need the Vault 33 suit first. Okay. Alright. Exit. Yes. So all this armor here, I had to find and craft on my own. So let's see... The Spartan armor is extremely overpowered. Okay. Sturdy armor. Gears undersuit. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> it's basically just Gears of War armor. Take off that helmet. Let's check the Gears helmet. Nice. <laughs> What's the alt one? Okay. Lancer. Oh, that's cool. Fire's the same, too. wonder what it... Oh, whoa. That is way... Not... <laughs> it's not centered right. On the male character, the armor would look weird without the muscles. Oh, yeah, you'd have to make the dude, like, huge. Uh, Boltock pistol. Oh, these are all added, like... Like, I'm assuming custom models. Nasher shotgun. What? That's pretty cool. No, the fire rate, it, it, it didn't seem like it was. Oh, 
the halo weapons. What is that? All right. Oh, that's cool looking. It's been such a long time. They must have updated the armor the last I saw it. That's pretty neat. Battle rifle. Let's see what else we got here, because we can also check out some of these other mods. Yeah, how do I get this mod that you plays the movie made by uh, if you plan on playing a Sonic sequel to mod? If you have any questions or encounter bugs with this mod, contact me on Twitter, YouTube, or Discord. No. Halo Elites is Raiders. Ellie from The Last of Us. Oh yeah, this was the, the mod that officially put Lucy in the game, but it does not look this good. That must be screenshots from PC because it it looks like a living nightmare. Oh, that'd be cool for the ammo counters to work. Neat. This is the latest. Animals are armor. Yeah, I downloaded this one too for Mara. And this this does not look good. Like the face model does not look good. It looks like her, but it looks like a it looks like a, a bad version. <laughs> that makes any sense. Ghost. See, here's another one. I do not own this mod. All armor pieces should now be ballistic weave compatible. Favorite, do I even have enough space to download this? I do, okay. You know, I also mowed my yard and put down some weed and feed. And of course, of course, it would rain. It's peacemaker. Deathstroke. I looked at this, this Metal Gear Solid one. It did not, it did not look good. Sneaking suit for Metal Gear Solid. Let's see if they've changed and or added anything for Halo. I know they did at one point. Oh, yeah, these I remember now. Yeah, these take up massive amounts of space when it comes to the uh, when it comes to the uh, like size that you can have for mods. No, I haven't tried the Metro mod. I saw it on here.
I wonder if these are actually accurate to the weapon models because when I had something similar to this, it did not, it did not look this high quality. The Metro mod takes up so much space, but it completely changes the game. Oh, really? Okay. I think I, I don't know if I favorited it, it, it favorited it or not. <laughs> oh, uh oh, did we freeze? Oh, there it goes. All right, let's see if uh see what the uh armory weapons look like. Yeah, for anyone playing this on PC, I would download as many of the mods as possible and disable like automatic updates. Otherwise, um, otherwise, a lot of the mods that you're using are about to just completely break. Ghost. Nice. Is this one. This is the gear stuff. Utility. Traps. Is it in this? No. Magnum. No. Here. Is it under here? Oh no, you know what it's probably under? Is the armor workbench, maybe. Or maybe not. Actually, let's see if I remember this correctly. Here it is. Here it is. All right, let's see some of these weapons. Hopefully this worked. No way! 
No way! This actually looks like the DMR. It has this... It has the same sound files as the DMR, too. What? This is the shotgun. It is. Why does it have a scope on it? Probably so you could see it, but... Oh my goodness, this is, this is wild. Really? These, they even have the SMG. What? With the same reload sounds and animations? Oh, this can't be. What? These are imported weapon models. This is awesome. That's got a long barrel on it. Make it silenced. Oh, I've seen this before. I've I've seen this before. Yeah, I've seen some of those before. I had to I I, I thought I thought so. Wow, that's pretty cool though. I'll be honest, that's that's pretty neat. Pretty neat. What do we got? ODST armor. That's pretty cool. I uh, I gotta I gotta give it to him. The uh, the armor is pretty cool. That does not look like it was supposed to. Uh. Is that what I... Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Yeah, I am uh honestly, I'm I'm quite impressed. Now, I know I know I have this Sonic mod on here. I don't I don't know. <laughs> well, let's go through here cuz I'm not going to be able to play with all of these. That one didn't work, so we'll delete that. Oh, Sonic's not on. What am I what am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, the real weapon mods I've seen, they look pretty neat too. Uh 
Uh oh, is the game gonna load back up? All right, there we go. Yeah, I know, it relies on content that's no longer there. Oh, geez. Must be raining really hard outside. Oh, it's supposed to be Sonic, but it's not. I wonder if it's because of the helmet. She's short. She's just running super fast. Okay, so this mod doesn't work either. Go ahead and head back to the main menu. <laughs> yes, quit to the main menu anyway. So that didn't work. Hey guys, I don't usually do this, but... We got nine likes, and I know that we've had people popping in and out of the stream. If we could just get one more, one more to likes to make it ten likes, that would that would be solid. I would appreciate it. That one I'm not going to use. This one I might keep those on there. Yeah, motorcycle mod would be cool too. It'll be better, I think, once the next generation version comes out, because then it, it'll actually... Like, I feel like the game would have problems loading, to be honest. Oh, man, my neck is killing me. Oh, here it is. Oh, no, this is a Metro Exodus wristlet. See what else they got for characters. Oh yeah, Norman Reedus. <laughs> hey there, Ricardo. Welcome into the stream. We're just looking at some of the mods here. We replayed a little bit of the beginning game with a character that I made. And, uh... Just generally kind of getting prepared for the update that's going to be coming pretty soon. Pretty soon on the 25th. Also just kind of playing through it too since uh, having finished the TV show, which I highly recommend. Highly recommend. Tina DeLuca voiced with Settler AI. Hmm. I know I've seen some videos with people with uh, Skyrim putting in chat GPT and like a voice thing and you can talk to them and they'll talk back to you. It's it was it was uh, quite creepy. Uh, well, um, it's going to be released on April 25th. It's going to turn the Xbox One version into a Series X and S optimized version. So if you have the Series X version or the Series S console, I mean, 
Series X or S consoles, um, it's gonna it's gonna auto update if you have as long as you have that enabled. Unfortunately, it may break a bunch of these mods because it's gonna change key aspects of the game. And I also expect them to do what they did with Skyrim, where they completely redesign the whole mod menu, and they'll probably change the name from mods to creations, uh, like they did with Skyrim. And um, if you have it on PlayStation, that's going to be a free update as well to, I'm assuming, turn it into a PS5 native version. You're going to have a performance mode, and you're also going to have a quality mode that you'll be able to flick back and forth between. I'm assuming the performance will be native uh, or uh, dynamic resolution uh, and uh, up to 60 frames per second. It's also going to... Um, Give you the same thing for the PlayStation if, if, if you have it there. And um, I believe they're adding in things from the TV show as well. Some weapons and armor. I'm That's probably going to go into the creations. Um, I don't know. I don't think the, uh, the update is going to be available for the PS4. It might update the game. But I don't think it's going to change it to um, essentially what is going to be like the next gen of the PS5 and Xbox series um, versions. The PS4 version might remain the same. I don't know. Actually, I don't know what the Xbox One, uh, if that'll remain the same either. Uh, but I do expect there to be a redesign of the mods thing with the... Uh, the way the, the layout and the menus and the way that it's set up to any mods that you want to make sure that you have, um, I would download and, uh, maybe turn automatic updates off until you hear about like what the, mo what the update actually does to it. But yeah, it's, it's, Essentially, the up update that they they promised this update over a year ago, they've been working on it now for quite some time. So it should be it should be decent. But yeah, if you can, I definitely recommend jumping on uh, and getting a, a next gen console if you're a huge Fallout fan. Just you know, for the update specifically. The Series S is always pretty cheap. It's a lot cheaper than a PS5. <laughs> and I assume that it's going to have a lot of the same um, a lot of the same up, uh, like update parity where it'll it'll be similar to the Series X version in the PS5. Besides when you played on the Xbox, you get access to all these other kind of really crazy mods that um, PlayStation doesn't allow on their platform, which is stupid with, with the way they did mods. It was because they didn't want to, I guess, have it so that you could have other characters like how, where is it? Let's go up here. Yeah. Death Trooper. It probably will be 1080p 60, which I mean, 1080p is pretty good personally, I think, but. Um, but yeah, look, like you could have characters uh, like Ellie from The Last of Us, Mara from Call of Duty, Joel, Leon, Solid Snake. Like you get all this other stuff. Norman Reedus, Batman. You get all these different types of uh, extra characters, essentially. Hey, there's Halo armor. Oh, 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 hold on, guys. The National Weather Service tornado warning in my area until 7.30 p.m. Take shelter now in a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. If you are outdoors in a mobile home or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial substantial shelter to protect yourself. Well, shit. <laughs> that was not...
That was not what I had in mind. Seven thirty, about forty-five minutes away. Damn. Well, <laughs> um, I suppose I should probably end the stream here. I guess I was gonna go for uh for a little while, but I guess there's a real weather risk. So, damn it. Uh, maybe I'll be back on a little bit later on tonight. Um, if not, though, uh, you know, I'll post an update and let everybody know that if I'm still alive or not. I appreciate everybody jumping in. We've had a good turnout tonight for the live stream. Um, if I can come back later on, I will. I have a video that I'm working on actually for about Xbox and Fallout and just, in my opinion, their general mismanagement of all their important intellectual properties. Um, but yeah, <laughs> thanks Ricardo. I, I appreciate your concern. I'm going to go ahead and hop off and, uh, maybe I will, I will be back later on tonight. Um, but yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for joining me. Keep an eye out. If you guys did enjoy this, uh, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing and, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bullshit.